the, uh, let me say um, uh, thank you very much, uh, each of you, for being here today. And I want to state, obviously, our number one priority for this upcoming session really is centered around jobs and job creation. And in order to do that, we really have to hit uh, head on uh, the primary issue that we're here to talk about today, and that is the budgetary concerns that we face in this upcoming session. I think all of you are aware that the number uh, seems to be growing, and uh, with December revenue numbers being down at 6%, uh, we could be as high as a $1.5 billion shortfall in revenues. The governor has taken great uh, measures to move forward, obviously by adjusting the revenue number to $900 million, and additional cuts will have to be made. As we move through this process, however, uh, it's important to point out that the legislature has already cut over $3 billion of state spending, and now we have more to do. And in order to do that, I think it's incumbent upon us to look to uh, the business community, business leaders, individuals that have gone through similar types of activities. And so today we are announcing our budget task force. It's made up of seven individuals uh, that really have uh, an array of business experience uh, that's going to be making recommendations to our legislative process. Uh, we anticipate uh, those recommendations by the middle of February. They've already begun uh, work immediately. Uh, of course, the Senate, the House, uh, Governor, all will have an opportunity to look at these recommendations, and we're very excited. Business communities uh, or businesses across the state uh, have been forced to not only deleverage and de-inventory, but look for creative ways to uh, grant efficiencies. State government is no exception. We've got to find waste. We've got to find the, um, the real savings that uh, will help our state. Uh, looking at consolidation methods as well as privatization, all of these issues have been put on the table and we look forward to seeing what uh, recommendations that will exist as we move forward. I would like to, uh, uh, to announce that the task force members will include um, Max Blocker, who uh, is a partner in, uh, with Price uh, Water uh, House Coopers, uh, Monty Conley, who is the president of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Greg Duncan, the president of North Georgia Operations of UCB Incorporated, um, Ed Hayes, who is here with us today, Atlanta, Atlanta deputy managing partner of uh, De uh, Deloitte and uh, Tush. Uh, also, uh, Ronnie uh, Labredo, Executive Vice President, CFO, and Treasurer of Georgia Power. Uh, Kelly McCutcheon, who is with us also with President of the Georgia Public Policy Foundation. And Suzanne Sitherwood, who is the President of uh, Atlanta Gas Live. With that, I would like to uh, call upon first uh, uh, the uh, Chairman of the Appropriations Committee, Jack Hill, make some opening remarks, then followed by Kelly McCutcheon and then Ed Hayes, and then we will have some questioning answers. Uh, so with that, uh, uh, Chairman uh, Jack Hill. Thank you, Governor. As we go through this difficult process this year, I think we need everyone's input, both as individual members of the legislature uh, and definitely from the business community. Uh, as we've gone through this recession in this country, I think business has been called upon uh, as no time before to to find efficiencies and find better ways to operate. We need to do the same thing in government and I, as we move through this process, we will, we will certainly look at the input from this committee and use that to, to develop a better budget, a budget this state can live with. I salute Lieutenant Governor for taking a leadership role in this capacity. So we're looking very forward to uh, finding out what uh, ideas we can get from the business community and we'll certainly put those into action assuming we can get the support to do that. Thank you. I'm Kelly McCutcheon with the Georgia Public Policy Foundation, and I'd like to thank the Lieutenant Governor for giving us this opportunity to come together as a state to protect essential services, uh, to avoid raising taxes if, if possible, but also we are very cognizant there are a lot of Georgians that are out of work and are hurting, and we need to make sure from a policy perspective we do things with the budget that creates a thriving uh, recovery for Georgia, that will be able to get those jobs back and get Georgians working again and uh, we appreciate being part of this process. I'm Ed Hayes with Deloitte and & Touche, and I guess I want to first acknowledge uh, the lieutenant governors and the, 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 the leadership here in Georgia and the interest in getting some, some ideas from the business community. I hope that we're going to be able to demonstrate and provide best practices as to uh, how some of our friends and clients in the business community have had to deal with similar issues and look forward to being able to serve the state. 
Thank you, and I also want to um, express my appreciation to the Senate colleagues, the Senate leadership that is here with me as well, and uh, are very eager to uh, undertake this challenge as well.